Yes, guys, it's Sunday Swings. This is your chance to win a free swing analysis. And today we're gonna to talk about for winner number one, and obviously this applies to your game as well. How do you transfer your weight through to target? How do you get rotated through to target? I got all the answers for you. So let's go over to the bag. So you see we've got a woggle here. This is gonna be for Sunday Swings number two, which will be out two hours after this one. Wonder what we can do with this. I've got a brilliant idea. I'd love to share with you. So first off, let's have a look at Tammy Swing. And whatever we say about Tammy Swing, this applies to you as well. So please do stick with this video because these little simple tips could take your strike from bad to what you've been trying to access all this time. So look at Tammy Swing here. Swing works very flat, shoulders work around the body, and then there's no real transfer of that weight through to target. Everything's all what I kind of call flat and above board. It's none of this transfer transferring the weight through to target um, so we're going to talk about simply how do we get out of that so first off we've got to sort of address that feeling of well how do we get everything working a little bit more shoulders on an incline plane rather than flat so real nice simple drill what I want you to do is grab your golf club left hand at the top or your lead hand at the top trail hand at the bottom and for me it's all about setting up these arms in the correct position so you can see here my right arm my trail arm's got a little bit of bend on it what I'm looking for you to do here is feel as though you tip this golf club over the shoulder we don't throw it over this way can we feel as though we tip this head over the shoulder you can see here as soon as I do this look how my body starts to orientate its movement more this way and that is all we're after now there are elements that we do need for this if you think about it this way our upper half can only turn a certain amount unless you add in the hip turn so with Tammy and I know I've seen this with a lot of golfers it's this right leg straightening and it's almost going too far with these hips and creating this move so what I want you to feel is to allow yourself to turn more on an incline can you feel as though someone's pulling your pocket around but not to the point where our right leg locks out we don't really want to feel that so that's why I love this drill this and if you're at home now I want you to really just encourage yourself just to go and take a few reps and really try that okay let's take a few steps forward because this is the second part we're talking about transferring our weight through to target this couldn't be any easier and actually this will help us swing it with these shoulders a little bit steeper so if you flip round to the face on point of you guys you come with me here because well this is something that I've done with a lot of people and it really does work it's so simple if you think about it right imagine our ball is teed up actually we'll do one better I'm not gonna hit it from here but if we take our ball on the tee peg place it down in the ground and we're gonna imagine that we're just gonna match the slope and really feel as though this is the teeing ground now. If you make a few practice swings here, you can see how because of the slope, my shoulders start to work more this way, my right leg now doesn't lock out, and how it's really easy for me to transfer my weight through to target. So as you can see, as I make this back swing, my shoulders are working steeper, my right leg started to straighten but not lock out, because it can't the only way I can lock out is if I'm gonna fall down the slope and that's not what we want to do so this is a brilliant way to actually make some fluid practice swings learning to turn more in posture not around the body because we can't we're trying to match the slope and how do we get that transfer of weight through to target well honestly this is really gonna help you and for Tammy and if you're watching this thing Kim Alex that is me you're gonna get away with driver a little bit and, and on Tammy's driver video you do get away with it because the driver is teed up but when we're looking at irons and I think longer irons as well and even like three woods off the deck that is where we're gonna get found out so learning about a drill like this it's a simple way of going this well how do we turn well get on the side of a slope it really does work and actually I want to leave you with this as well if you follow me this way if you're somebody who struggles with swinging over the top well actually putting the golf club above your feet you'll learn to swing this golf club more around in the downswing 
and not chopping down on it and that's going to have so many benefits to your game as well so there you go that is it so if you're thinking but no guys it's not it that's not it i'm going to tell you in a second sit this one away about how you can be a winner on next week's sunday swing so let's sit this one away the analogy that i want to use can i feel my left shoulder goes under five percent shift 95 percent turn and that's the analogy that i feel in that downswing wow guys I found the middle of the club, we need like a here, yeah, cheer moment. I found it. So it's so simple. If you make some swings on a downhill lie, it's gonna make your swing feel a little bit steeper and it's gonna really allow you to learn to transfer that weight through to target. Who doesn't want that, right? So guys, that is all we have time for on number one of Sunday Swings today. But if you wanna be a winner on next week's Sunday Swings, it's so easy. All you've gotta do is one, be a subscriber to this channel. Number two, make sure you hit that bell notification and finally comment down below hashtag pick me who doesn't want to win this could be the, the thing that makes you get the bingo moment in your golf swing